Hello guys, it's Angelina and Dima from Walk Energy World. In the video of today, we're going to make a comparison of two different wood stove we have. One of a small size and one of a bigger size. They may seem very similar, but we actually found that they have quite a lot of striking differences between them. And we think this video may help some of you to make the right choice. We're going to compare all of their characteristics and have a closer look at their performance. So if you're interested to see it, keep on watching. So here you can see two wood stove in our hands and you can clearly see that one is significantly smaller than the other and it is the most obvious difference. If you followed us for a while and watched our previous video where we showed you our wood stove discovery, you know that the first stove we ordered was this big one. And even though we were completely happy about how it worked, we still wanted to try out a different construction wood stoves that seemed even more convenient and easy to use. And in this search we stumbled across this small guy, as there weren't bigger ones of this construction. So making the long story short, let's get into the comparison itself. First let's take a look at their features. Both stoves come in their fabric bag for storage, and the big stove came with an extra plastic zip-up bag as well. The small one has an additional cable in the kit that connects all its parts, and so you can store it this way if you prefer hanging it somewhere for example. But we personally never used it. They are both made of lightweight titanium plates, they are pretty compact and surprisingly their weight difference is not that big. Our bigger wood stove of size M weighs 177 grams or 6.2 ounces. And the smaller one weighs 105 grams or 3.7 ounces. Of course their dimensions are different. So fully assembled big stove dimensions are 12.8 to 12.8 to 16.2 cm or 5 to 5 to 6.4 inches. And the small one is 90 to 90 to 108 mm or 3.5 to 4.2 inches. The place of the both stoves are rather thin and so they can deform a little bit when you first set up a fire. In our case they bend it a little outward, maybe like several millimeters, so the walls don't stay straight and become a little rounded. But after that first time the place stayed as they are, they sort of took its permanent shape and didn't bend anymore. So we think it's not critical as long as the stove stands normally and the bindings are connecting well. The main difference between this wood stove lies in their construction. The big wood stove has special side bindings of its parts and at first they can be quite challenging to connect. Because the plates don't always stay in place and can easily unhook if you install the stove on an uneven ground. It is very important to check that all the legs are touching the ground and all the joints are connected. You have to always look for a flat ground and if one of the legs is in the air, you need to put something underneath it so that it has a proper support. Otherwise one of the joints can unhook under the weight of your cooking pot and the whole construction fall apart. It did happen once to us and it was quite scary. So we consider it one of the biggest inconveniences and flaws of this stove. Small wood stove on the other hand has more convenient and fast setting up process. It has all the parts connected with the fixing pins and thus more stable panel joint. It is one of the biggest advantages over the other stove because this type of construction makes sure it will stay in place on any surface and even if one leg is not touching the ground it won't fall apart. Looking at the appearance it is obvious that the bigger wood stove has larger opening for adding the wood and larger air vents all around it. They both have in the kit only the base place for adding wood, but with the small one you can also buy separately the upper plate for mini alcohol burner if you prefer to use it. The other major difference lies in the performance of these stoves. To set up a fire with a big wood stove is quite easy and fast. It has big air vents and so the air can circulate easily and freely. Therefore, combustion is more efficient. It works with the technique of adding the small tweaks first and then when the fire has already started, adding the larger ones. As a result, the water boils in approximately 12 minutes. It will all pretty much depend on the weather and especially wind conditions. If you are interested to learn more about it, you can watch a separate video review of this particular stove where we go into more detail of the technique that we use. From my personal experience with a small stove to set up the fire, it is pretty hard. We think the main reason for that is because it has quite small air vents and thus the air doesn't enter inside very well. It starts to smoke heavily and the combustion itself doesn't happen. 
Of course, to boil the water with it is almost impossible. Perhaps you need to find the very small thin twigs for it and use only those, but we think we have tried everything and nothing helped with it. Again, we are almost sure that it's because of its small size and two small air openings that are insufficient for a successful combustion. But we have to admit that it can smoke food perfectly, if that's what you are looking for. Of course, the huge downside of it is that all your stuff around will have the smell of it. One possible solution for it would be an additional turbofan that would create an artificial airflow. We don't have the one at hand, but we tested it by just blowing into the wood opening and it seemed to start burning better. But if you will opt for something like that, it's important to bear in mind that it will be an additional weight and a hassle of charging the fan carrying extra batteries or power bank. It is also possible to use the alcohol fuel on an extra tray that you can buy separately. But again, we haven't tested it, so can't say about how efficient it really is. Maybe it will work better. But then to us it loses one of the main advantages of this type of stoves. That you can use the fuel under a feet, which is unlimited. And you don't need to buy anything extra and carry an extra weight. One of the advantages we found with the smaller wood stove is that you can place it in the smaller cups and pots, which is especially useful for solo hikers, we think. Also, it may work better with smaller pots in terms of efficiency, as you don't need to boil a big amount of water. The big wood stove instead doesn't have any partitions in the center. And also because it is more powerful, there is a danger of covering with soot all your small cups too much. You can find both of these stoves on AliExpress store for around the same price, 15 euros. We'll leave all the links as always in the description below. In the end, for our needs, the cooking pot up to 2 liters, the large stove is one to go with. Its size is ideal for the pot we use, and the fire covers larger area. And it is powerful enough to cook anything we want. We only wish it could be smaller and work just the same, but unfortunately it's not. We cooked on a little wood stove once, and it was a torment, you guys. We couldn't even boil the water normally and spent around 2 hours cooking. In the end, the food still wasn't cooked properly, because of this long process and smelled a lot like a smoke. So to us, all its advantages of the convenient setup and stability have faded after we experienced its bad performance. So we wouldn't recommend the small wood stove like this for any hiking couples that cook for both people. Only if you're willing to carry extra alcohol fuel to work with it. But that is all more the personal preference, as we personally prefer to carry a gas system as the main cooking option. And carry the wood stove is an extra alternative when needed, so we won't add any extra weight by carrying alcohol fuel. But if you consider having the wood stove as the main cooking system, then may be a great solution for you. But again, we don't have any experience with this, so we ask everybody who is watching, share your experience with it in the comments, as it may be very useful for many people. And that is all we wanted to say about this comparison. As always, don't forget to check out our other wood stove reviews and gas system comparisons in the dedicated gear playlist. Give this video a like if you found it useful and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy the gear reviews like this one. Click on the notification bell as well to stay notified first about every new video we release. We hope you are having a great day and we'll see you in our next video very soon. Bye guys!